In the latest episode of Homes Under the Hammer, Martin Roberts headed to Swansea in Wales where he was met with a home in utter disrepair. A special guest joined Martin Roberts for the first time on Homes Under the Hammer after he brought his beloved pooch down to Wales. The property expert, 60, headed to Swansea to check out a dilapidated three-bedroom home. Before he entered the semi-detached house, the BBC star told viewers, for once I have brought somebody with me to have a look around. Before he was spotted crouching down to waffle his dog. Now they say dogs have a sense of smell which is 10,000 times better than ours. So probably he will be able to sniff out a bargain, he said before asking his four-legged guest if it would be a good buy. Thankfully, Waffle was with him as the presenter attempted to get into the house through the front door, which oddly did not open. However, he wandered around the side of the house and found a door to get in. From its curbside appearance, the abode looked overgrown and tired. When Martin entered inside, he was met with a dated property that had not been renovated since the previous owners had lived in it. The guide price was £80,000 but was purchased for £115,000 by Mark. The new owner was an electrician before turning his back on the trade and going into the property business full-time. Despite its lack of glamour, the shell of the home was in a reasonable condition. There was no sign of dampness and there was the possibility to extend the property. However, there was one issue surrounding the lease. Martin explained that 44 years were remaining which is significantly low and would be a cause for concern for any homeowner. There is always the possibility of asking to extend but the process is not straightforward and can take a considerable amount of time. He went on to mention that to put in to buy a freehold the owner must own the property for at least two years. However, due to the previous owners already starting the process he was able to continue and manage to buy the freehold for £9,000. This took his total to £124,000. Mark planned to flip it and sell it after finishing off the renovations to a good standard, with a budget of £11,000. He added that he, would be doing the work, well most of it. I treat it like a full-time job. I am here from half seven in the morning until five at night. When Martin returned a couple of months later the home looked breathtaking after the work Mark had done. Despite going slightly over budget after forking out £20,000 on the renovations, he beamed from ear to ear. Martin consulted an estate agent who valued the home at £185,000 meaning Mark would make a return of £41,000.